That already smells good. That already smells delectable. That already smells good out there, babe. Sorry, I upset you. You didn't upset me. Okay, how's that? What are you looking for? Uh, measure and stuff. I'm gonna make vegan bones. I need to make some vegan cornbread. Uh, the recipe is on our website, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is my fixings for the crab cakes, the, the jackfruit crab cakes. We got some jackfruit, we got some onion, some celery, stalk, uh, carrot, Excuse me. little parsley, a little uh, nori or seaweed, um, chopped up, our cooking green spicy seafood mix, a little vegan mayo, a little Dijon mustard, a little just egg uh, for our egg substitute, and a little bit of breadcrumbs. A little bit of breadcrumbs. So let's get it going. Thank you guys. Thank you for the 50 stars. Uh, I think Daphne Smith. Yes, thank you. That's only coming in a can. Now you can buy it fresh. Um, you just have to buy young jackfruit that is not ripe for um, these type of recipes. Let's get you going, y'all. Let's get it going. Thank you, uh, Iasia Simpson. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. My uh, my nephew, who is a, uh, a vegan, is coming through, and he was here yesterday with his family, and he said, Uncle, when are you going to make me some of those um, jackfruit um, crab. crab cakes? So I was like, when, when have you want it? He said, I can be back tomorrow. So they actually are on their way now. So be careful what you say. Yeah, so... <laughs> So they're on their way tomorrow. Nita already, uh, Nita, I mean today, Nita already on top of everything. She got, uh, what's this babe, some the potatoes. potatoes and what she put Little on there. Little fingerling those. potatoes, olive oil, onion, um, onion black pepper. Or onion black pepper mix, uh -huh. Seafood seasoning. Right. And. They smell great. What else? Herb. And herb seasoning blend, okay. And the chicken is on the grill already. Looking good. Yeah, I showed them that in the beginning. Looking good and smelling good. Let's let's check the chicken out, and then um, you got the tongs out there. Okay, cool, cool. We're gonna go check on our chicken, y'all. Check on the chicken. Oh yeah, check on the chicken. Yeah, check on the chicken. Oh, check on the chicken. Yow. Okay, chicken. First of all, chicken, you smelling delectable. You are smelling delectable. I'm pretty sure she put. A barbecue tomato on here, a little bit of herb, and it looks like a little bit of our Creole blend on these bad boys. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look, I don't even think we need the top on this. I'm gonna cook this without the top on it, guys. Because so who's gonna stop me, bro? Who's gonna stop me? I'm gonna put this right here. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna stop me? That's him, smell it. Smell it, smell it coming up here. Can you smell it? Mm. I'm wafting it up to the phone so y'all can smell it. Mm, mm. Man, shoot. That thing smell good. That thing smell. Barbara said she could smell that. I could smell that. Look, I knew y'all could. He that has um, uh -huh. the barbecue tomato seasoning. Right. The Creole and go-to. And go-to. I was so close. I said barbecue, Creole, and, and herb. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, yeah, what you doing there, babe? This is vegan brownie. Vegan brownie. So what makes it vegan brownie, babe? Um, the egg substitute and... You said just egg? Just egg substitute. And because you put water and oil in it, and that's already vegan. Okay, okay. Alex said, look, Alex said he can't smell it. Alex, there's something wrong with your phone then. 
You need to upgrade your phone, my brother. You got to, you probably got one of them iPhones, yeah. see? Things gonna be better, man. You ain't got all you ain't gonna always have an iPhone. Things will be better, I promise you. Alright, let me use this bowl right here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open this can. Um, we're gonna drain this, we're gonna rinse it, yeah. Um, I'm not necessarily worried about getting it um boiled. Sometimes I boil it just to tenderize the um the flesh. But I'm not gonna we are gonna check this out. We're gonna rinse it, drain it, rinse it, and then I'm gonna try to go ahead and shred it. Oh, it's the same. And then we're gonna start getting these uh the same. Then we're gonna start getting these uh cakes. These cakes together. How about that? And we use the just egg uh, for the uh, substitute egg. It is a vegan egg substitute. It's made all from plants. Um, it's really good. You can scramble it. You can do scrambles. You can put it in your recipes, omelets. Um, uh, it's mostly mung bean protein. Um, and it tastes and looks and everything like egg. I'm telling you guys, there are so many great vegan products out there right now. If you really want to go one or two days a week uh, meatless you won't even know you won't even know the difference I'm telling you right now um, I just need that rinse and um, oh, into the, uh, I'm just one handed and I'm thinking the, I'm thinking I'm going to um, I'm thinking I'm going to end up uh, putting uh, my tripod up so I can get my hands all up in here because you're doing something and I'm also doing something so how y'all doing, man? How y'all? Well, let me show, show you guys what, how, what we did so far. So to date, we got 185 gifts of grocery. Um, if you are new here, um, during our live, you guys are giving stars. Uh, we also have patrons that give monthly. And we are, during this pandemic time, we decided to give away the money that we make from our tips and our patron money to, oh, oh Lord, we didn't knock people down the to help um, families in need um, with a $25 gift card. So we gave 185 $25 gift cards to date out. Um, we have enough for one more family, um, but usually we get enough to do a few more during our lives. So we thank you guys for all your stars. And if you need a gift card to help you out over the hump, let us know, and if you know a, a, another person or family that needs it let us also know so let me get i think i feel like i need i, think, I feel like i need my tripod so it feels like i need both my hands today both the hands derek yes sir both of them Come on. Get you in here guys so y'all stay right there and keep an eye on me make sure i don't mess up okay We're gonna start getting this together. So, jackfruit, tropical fruit, um, grows up to 100 pounds. Um, it's a sweet fruit, but in its young, unripened state, it is pretty much tastes like nothing. Is probably the best thing. Tastes like nothing. Has a texture of shredded meat when you pull it apart, kind of like that right there. You kind of see the fibers and everything. So this is why a lot of people have been using it for meat substitutes. Um, it holds whatever kind of flavor you put in there. And I'm gonna shred it, but I'm gonna be careful not to shred it too small because I want it to have the texture of a crab cake. So the crab cake is gonna have some sinewy parts, gonna have some chunky parts. So that's what we're gonna try to, uh, try to mimic here with this shred. So I'm gonna get this can, and I'm just using one can. One can, um, you should be able to find at your local market or Trader Joe's or on Amazon. Around $1.99 a can to about $3.99. Depending on where you buy it from. And one can can make a few, few crab cakes. So it's a pretty affordable meal. So let's... Actually, I'm gonna bring you guys over here so you can kind of whoa, whoa, whoa. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. Give me a sec. Come on, come on over here where everybody's at, y'all. Why y'all wanna be there by yourself when you could be right here? 
but you can be right here in the paint or in the bowl y'all could be in the bowl while i talk to you how about that so i'm gonna take these pieces and all i'm doing is this is the this is the core section here and then this is the outer part they peel it and then they um, kind of give you a little core because the core has a little texture too. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people just use this fibrous part depending on what you're using. So I just kind of break it up with my hand. You can use a fork, whatever, just to get some nice little texture. So you see what's in the bowl there. It tastes like nothing, so don't worry about it. I'm probably going to squeeze some of this out because it's got a lot of excess liquid in there. Um, I'll get it in a little towel when I finish this and then we'll just mix everything so I just kind of crush it kind of lightly because I want to I want some uh, some kind of semblance of chunks and fibers in here just because we're mimicking crab meat and get that again you every once in a while you'll get a little a little seed pod like this they're fine they taste exactly the same as the rest of the flesh. It's just a different texture. I usually just crush it up really good with my thumb. That's it. Boom. And I know y'all like, what does it taste like? I can't see the words right now because I have this pointed down, but it tastes like nothing. Whatever you, we have about 10 recipes on our website using jackfruit from chicken noodle soup to crab cake. So. Um, if you ever want to try it, we tried it first for you, so we got you covered, all right? We're going to get these last few pieces out of here. And they usually, uh, usually um, pack them canned in brine, which is just salt. And because we're always watching our salt, you want to rinse it off, um, drain it, or rinse it, drain it, and um, boil it. So you get a lot of that salt out. So I'm leaving some of that in there because it's gonna help with the taste of the crab. I'm just getting this kind of chopped up. See how simple it is, even a boy can do it, y'all. Just breaking it up. You see how the texture is there. We use a shredded, we've done shredded chicken with this. We've done pulled pork with uh, jackfruit. Here's another seed pot. And you just kind of crush it up. Not because it's bad or it tastes bad or anything. This is just because the texture is part of the experience. So you want the text. You don't want to eat something that you think is crab cake and then you get something round in there. And like, wait a minute now. What is this round, smooth part? But we're just trying to, trying to help with the illusion. That's all we're doing here. So this is about how much flesh or meat, I guess you want to call it, of the uh, meat of the um, jackfruit you get in a can. So this is the last piece. I'm going to get a little kitchen towel that I'm not using. Come on in. Come on in. Come in. Come in. Come in. What up, big guy? How's it going? We're going to squeeze this out just to get all the excess liquid out. What's up, fella? What's going on? What up, man? Where am I going? Yeah, she's in the room. Just doing the uh, Jack for the Crab Cakes got the flesh kind of done. So y'all shred them up? Yeah, yeah, just do it with my hand. It's pretty simple. So super simple. Y'all see that? Very, 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 very simple. Uh, Nisi, how's it going? I see Patricia Brown. So I see DMVs in the house. What's up, Chucky? So we got that done, guys. So now that we have that done, and this is what the what the meat slash flesh looks like. Isn't that nice? Isn't that, isn't that kinda couldn't that kinda fool you up, fool you a little bit, that texture? So the next thing we're gonna do is we got we got a little vegan mayo and a little Dijon mustard. We're gonna add that in here. 
Let me get my. A little vegan mustard, and the recipe's on our website, so don't worry about how much we have. I got it all typed out for you already. All ready for you to go on cookingwithgreensfamily.com. We're going to mix that. We're going to mix a stalk of celery chopped up finely. That knew y'all was coming, so I did it early, see? A little carrot, a little parsley. You want to be our, my cameraman, man? Sure. You can talk, you can, you can, boom. My, 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 handsome, my handsome nephew is here. Don't the, turn this towards me, I ain't got my head cut. Okay, he, ain't, <laughs> he don't want to be, he don't want people to see him. Oh, you got to turn around the other oh, so, way. Oh, I got to yeah. the button, you in the back. Turn around the other way and read, and read, yeah, and talk to people and see if they ask any questions. And... All right, how y'all doing, everybody? I'm his nephew, Tony. So let's see here, we got, uh, you know you're doing somebody wrong, said, doing wrong. how am I doing the wrong? Boom. All, All right, right so there you go. Got a little sweet onion here. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Rosalie, you talking about my uncle or you talking about me? I don't know. She asked how long have you been vegan. How, yeah, you, man. you, you. Oh, yeah, uh, not that long. It was like, it was a tussle, so like on and off about over a year, on and off. <laughs> See, it's tough. So we got a little bit of nori. That's all the nori I had left. I usually put a little more in there. It's just seaweed dried up. Um, it gives you a nice little, uh, Sea flavor, so I add a little bit of that in there, and then we also added our cooking with greens spicy seafood blend. Mm -hmm. so that's the kind of thing you need for something like this. Add that in there, kind of toss it in there, fold it, I guess is the right thing. We're gonna add a little bit of vegan Worcestershire in there, just a little bit, again, just for flavor. A little of our just egg. Got that okay. A little bit of that. Been a hard time. Having a hard time trying to make omelets with that that whole thing. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe it was the pan I was using or something. Oh, it it, it um it solidified it up. But you weren't be able to. You weren't able to um, flip it over. Is that was a. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But it tastes okay, right? Mm-hmm. Elder Sarah, how you doing? We're gonna add a little breadcrumbs in here. Woo! And that pretty much is the whole thing, y'all. That's everything. The next important thing that you need to do is let this sit up in the fridge for a little bit or the freezer. Mm -hmm. Since we're gonna be cooking these in the next few, we're gonna let it sit in the freezer for a little bit. Woo! Just a little bit, just so we they don't fall apart when we cook them. That's the only reason why. Okay. So you, you start cooking them right away from here. They start falling apart. They fall right apart. They fall right apart. They fall right apart. So this way they'll get a little uh, texture and mm -hmm. uh, hold. So how long do you let it sit for? Um, usually, perfectly. Uh, you want at least be an hour, but. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. We're gonna just get it as <laughs> as cold as we can. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. Go this way. Go towards mommy. Who Go brought a baby mommy. in here? Go towards mommy, yeah. fat. You touch Who the, brought a touch baby the light. in here? Who brought a baby? My little uh, great nephew. He really just a good nephew. He ain't really a great one. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Did, uh, yeah, Shirley yeah, Turner from good. Panama City, Florida. How you doing? Well, this, is what she, this is what they look like, you see? Y'all see how it, how it has that. So normally that you let these sit for an hour. Yeah, normally about okay. an hour. Normally about an hour. Uh, we're going to give it whatever it, it's going to take today. Mm -hmm. Probably going to be somewhere around 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, we, Anita is over there doing so. Can you show her? my beautiful aunt over here. Make some mushrooms over here. Go ahead, aunt. I expected to go with those potatoes right there. Okay. That's potatoes right here. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Onions into that. Mm -hmm. And I got chicken on the grill for your lovely wife. Okay. okay. Oh, I gotta go check that. Oh, and I made vegan cornbread. Yeah, I put this. I made vegan cornbread and I got vegan brownies in the oven. Okay, now I got a question. Yeah. How loud were you screaming when you was making it? Because remember the last time you was, I don't know, I don't, I'm kind of. Never. <laughs> 
Oh man. So how many patties? How many cans? What was this? One can? One can. And it made how many how many patties? Uh well, depends on the size. This okay. is about four. Okay. Um you can actually if you want to um double it up, you can make bigger patties. Okay. Um I figured you were gonna be most, mostly only person eating mm-hmm. this. Um so if not the fat man. And maybe my maybe my oh, mom might have. Because he'll eat whatever whatever's being made. He really don't care. So after this, what happens was once I, I solidify it, uh-huh. it all sets up. I get um, a little of that just egg, uh-huh. a little flour, and a little bread. Are you going Bridget Harris? And dip it in that, and then we fry it. So it has okay. a crusting on the outside, too. That's also going to help the whole thing. Okay. It looks like I got the dishes, too. And you got the cornbread. I, I come up with that. Yep. So okay. cornbread. You see how these bad boys look? Okay, we're gonna throw them in the freezer for a little bit. That's all we want. That's all. That's all. That's all I'm asking. Mm-hmm. That gets set up. This is pan, pan. Once again, for these who do not know, this is their brand right here. Cook it with greens. Me and my wife pretty much got all of them. Yeah, I think so. Except for we ran out of the ranch. And uh, I'm gonna have to buy another one. We need some more uh, spicy seafood too. Tony, we got. Did I let you try, test the um, the um, vegan nacho cheese yet? No, um, that's new. Yeah, it's not. The labels are. We probably gonna watch it next week. But I have a little. Sample. Oh, excuse me. I'll... I have a sample. I'm gonna let you taste it. Okay. Right now, while you're here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what, once again, everybody, my aunt throwing it down with some Brussels sprouts, some potatoes right here. And what's that over there? The green peppers, and onions. Are green peppers and onions and some more leaves right here. Some of and the mushrooms. I don't know mushrooms. The mushrooms be right though. Okay. Yes, the mushrooms be right. But I don't know what to do with it. Should I put it like in your hand? Uh, <laughs> I guess. I'm gonna give you a little bit All of your right. hand, like a like a like a barbarian. All right. A little bit in your hand, like a barbarian. Just kind of time. You can come out. Okay. All right. That's very good. Yeah. That's pretty. Okay. That's pretty good. The vegan nut yeah, like cheese, huh? That's like a cheese blend. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. You gonna need that? We gonna need hey, that. I'm gonna just go there. I'm serious. You already got how many bottles you got? Um, I'm, we gonna we make it in long now. That was that was the step. Okay. The last one. Mmm. Pretty good, man. Yeah, that's good. Bro. All right, sorry about that, y'all. Yeah, it got. Uh, Had to take a little break, break. Cause you gonna finish all the Brussels sprouts, right? Yeah, um, I guess. Are oh, you doing the uh, mushrooms? Yeah, cause vegan people eat mushrooms, so I did a side of mushrooms. Okay, okay. All right. I didn't know. Right, look, you're all right, girl. What you season with that? Um, we gonna put on this. We put some right on the Creole. Uh, uh, Creole, I think. And what are we putting here? I don't know. Okay. I just put a little. Um, Is it heat on it now? Yeah, it's heat on, but I turned it down because I went outside. All right. So I turned it back up. Let's let's put a Do little. Need butter. Let me. Yeah. Vegan let's put butter. a tiny bit of butter. A little um, corned beef butter. Yeah, have a little olive oil. Okay. Okay. Want to go ahead and flip these bad boys down, so I want I get a little char on this end. A little bit of char on the on the on the flat side. And then we want to hit that maybe with a little maple bacon blend. Okay. Any maple bacon will be good on these. Right. We want to hit that with a little maple blend. We could have did an onion, black pepper. We could have did a lemon. I didn't put onion. You did put a little onion, no, black I, pepper I on I think it? I did. I don't remember, babe. I'm just trying to get everything. Okay. I know. You wait. You catch it. You doing your thing. I didn't know you were doing your thing, but you're doing it. We're going to get these bad boys a little flatter so we get a little, a little texture. Yeah, I just don't think the pan's big enough. All right, we're gonna make it do what it do, babe. So these mushrooms are done. We get these out. All right. There we go. And I'm gonna hit it with some of our cooking with greens. Uh, uh, maple bacon. Where you at, maple bacon? Ah, there we go. Right there. Boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna get a little of that. And that's our vegan bacon blend there. 
I'm gonna bring a little flavor to this. A little flavor, just a little bit. Just a little something, something. You know, I might hit it again a little bit later. More herbs and spices than salt, so I know y'all like, woo, he put a lot of salt on there. No, 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 I didn't. I really didn't, I promise you. I really, really didn't. I put a lot of flavor on that, though. Whole, whole heck of a lot of flavor. What you got back there, babe? Peppers and onions. I'm going to put it in that. Peppers and onions. I'm going to put in here. Yeah, okay, I need, boom. No, no. What you need? This? That, because this is hot. Okay, hold on. Let me get it first. I got it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. They said the Brussels sprouts look good. Luana, how are you? Thank you guys for the stars. We have uh, 150 stars. Uh, every year, 2,500 stars we get. We're able to help a family in need. Um, so we appreciate you guys with the stars doing our lives. We're going to let that do its little thing. I think I want to put a little bit, just a little bit of liquid in there. So I get a little steam in there. And I'm thinking some broth. Do you have a veggie broth? Yeah. I'll look real quick, but for now I'm just gonna look at these bad boys close up. Oh, I'm gonna look at them close up. That's all I want. That's all I want in life to see the splendor close up. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Brussels sprouts. Yes. Where do we buy the jackfruit? We get it from our local, our local market. And check this chicken. Ooh. Oh, watch out, fat! Our look, our local uh, international market. We have purchased it at Trader Joe's before. We have purchased it um, online from Amazon. Okay, put the okay, got a little, little char char on this, huh? The char char binks. I think it's a. Uh, Gonna be quite good. I don't know we're gonna get no char char on there, but okay, whatever, whatever. I feel like in my spirit, this little piece is calling my name. What you say, little piece right here? You said, Come on, get in my mouth. Hold on, you hot though. You hot. <laughs> I'm, I'm blowing from my fingers <laughs> in my mouth. Mmm, uh -huh. mmm, mmm. Okay, all right. Mmm. 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 I don't put no salt on that. Let me wash it. I'm Well, why is this thing turning, Jesus? Come on, y'all, y'all behave, please. How about that? Y'all better now? Okay. Just check it. Okay. Now that I want a little bit of char on that side, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Right, right, right. I don't know if 
water from the uh, jackfruit. It needs to be washed. I have to squeeze it out. Uh, Don't squeeze out with a paper towel. You paper on. Okay, I'll wind it on that. Yes, it's still on? Yes, that one's on. Okay. You gotta probably suck yourself because I got brownie on the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. That finish up there. Yeah. Boom. All right. Oh, the chicken was good. The chicken was good. It was just, I got, that little piece had a lot, a lot, a lot of seasoning on it. So it was almost season overload, but other than that, it was good. Almost good. Okay, all right, potato. I'm gonna get some of you too. The potatoes on point. The potatoes are on point, y'all. Mm. Potatoes are on point. Sneaking pieces of Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Let me get a little second. Let me give it a little more second, all right? Let me give it a little more second. Um, DeAndre, thank you for the 400 stars. We're at five. 150 stars that's five dollars and fifty cent we appreciate you for that guys um let's see the brussels are looking mighty mighty good marshall they're gonna taste even better even better uh jackie says hi family i want the no salt seasons i don't like to use my debit card on facebook um you can give us a call afterwards and we will we'll give you a call and take the order over the phone that's fine uh everything looks delicious What's up, New Jersey? George Cox, good to see you. Panama City's in the house. So we about to get we about to get it together. Uh, Kiosha sent 200 stars. Thank you, Kiosha, for that. Um, that is awesome. We appreciate you guys. Amen. Yeah. We got a little, 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 little Grandma Green in here. Grandma Green in the house. Okay, so Nita did a little mushroom medley with some peppers and onions. Okay. And we got a little bit of taters. And we got a little vegan cornbread she made. And this was the jackfruit plan that we got from the Asian market. You want to get young green jackfruit. That's the kind you want. Young green jackfruit. Because the ripened jackfruit is sweet and it will not do the same thing. You won't get the same experience. If you if you had used a young green jackfruit, DeAndre, good to see you. Jay Renee said everything was great. Leslie, thank you for the 50 stars. That's awesome. Uh, Mama Green be looking so beautiful. She, she thinks she's cute. She thinks she's cute. Mama Green, I'm telling you. She thinks you. Who we got here? Who we got here? What's up, man? What's up, man? Masai, what's it? What's up? Hello, hey. Hey, son. Drinking a whole thing of juice. Say hi. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I ain't got nothing to say with you. I ain't got nothing to say. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to mind. say. I ain't have no babies when I grow up. That's too much work. <laughs> too much work. You know what these grandpas? As soon as I grow up. No, baby. I'm going to dip the, um, the, I'm gonna do, dip the, uh, the, the crab oh, fruit in flour right. a little. You still got to cook them. Still gotta do those. Was Still like, not at all, baby. Oh, I was ready. Nina, correct. Good to see you. Yvonne said, enjoying your company and your meal. Uh, let's say everybody's saying Mom Green, but she, Mom Green, Mom Green made her sweet potatoes. She in and out. What did she do? Now she made some sweet potatoes and now she's chilling out. Okay. What's up, Barbara? How you doing? We're walking in the house. Yeah, that cup is as big as he is. He is. <laughs> hello, hello, monster. He a little monster. No, 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 no. I'm gonna see if I can get him to say hi. You gonna say hi, Masai? Masai, come here, son. Say hi. Say hi. Say hey, everybody. My name is Masai. I'm a big boy. Hi. 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 Oh, okay. All right. He said it. Oh, he said it. Okay. He said hi. 
He said it. All right. Okay. He said hi. Yeah. He said hi. They said he's so cute. They said, they said all him so handsome. Oh. They said hello, man. Yeah, Anthony, jackfruit is a fruit. Yeah, it is not so far. I mean, it's not meat. It's actually a tropical fruit. Um, in the young, and it gets bumpy and large like that, up to a hundred pounds. This gets so it can get really, really, really large and feed a lot of people. Um, they say that if um, we started really harvesting jackfruit and using it around the world, um, we could probably eradicate hunger because it's so much flesh and it cooks so fast and it's so large and full of calories when it's when it's when it's ripe. In the young and green unripened state, it's still small. It still hasn't ha have any flavor at all. So the texture is what people actually are using for the meat. So the, you, this is the same thing I just used. They just cross cut a small young fruit. And um, that's, why, that's why they're using this because it actually mimics meat really good. You want to know a lot of uh, vegan recipes, this guy right here. This uh, bald head, bald head guy right there, he, he got, he got, a, he got a lot of them. He got a lot of them. This guy got a lot of them right here. Very, very much a lot of them. Susil Jeffrey, good to see you. Thank you guys. Thank you for the 950 stars. That is awesome. They said, little man is handsome. What's the uh, uh, phone number to order with us? You can um, use, you can use this number if you want, but don't call right now because I'm live right now. 908-405-6666, okay? So that's it. That's it. And then we got you covered, all right? Sarita said, tomorrow's her birthday. What y'all cooking for me? Look, we're going to cook you up a song, a happy birthday song. But I have no idea what we're making tomorrow, uh, Sarita. It'll probably be a, uh, a, as much a surprise for us as it is for you. What's this, Mom? Babe? That's oh, your mother's sweet oh, potato. My mom, made sweet, my mom made some sweet potato for herself. See how she is, y'all? See how she do, y'all? See how she do? She didn't say, do y'all want some sweet potatoes? She said, I'm going to make me some sweet potatoes. That's what, my, that's what my mom do. Uh, what's up, Claire Brigham? Love you back. Yep. We'll make something delicious. I, I need to, I feel like I want to see how everything is going in here. I, see. I hear a little crackly crack going on in there. Let me see. I hear it, too. Mm -hmm. I hear a little crackly crack, y'all. Y'all forgive my uh, bottom of my oven. Somebody spilled something, man. They put salt in there, and then we gotta wipe all that out. So, okay. but mm -mm -mm. we just haven't done it yet. We we being lazy right now. We being pretty pretty later. Yeah, you guys message us your phone number. We will call you. That might be a lot easier than saying my number over and over and over. Again. How much time you need for the package? Huh? How much time do you need for the crab cakes? The crab cakes need to um, set up a little bit. I could try. I mean, they, the worst that can happen is they fall apart. They're definitely not super set up right now. They, well, they're really not super set up. No, we didn't do any earlier. We didn't do any earlier. We can go ahead and try. Look, what's the worst that can happen? They fall apart. They're still going to taste the same. So, y'all, don't be like us is what I'm getting ready to tell you right now. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and start. No, we're gonna go ahead and start doing it now. We don't want to have to wait. So we're about to go ahead and make this happen right now. We're gonna get a little bit of this egg wash. We're gonna just use this just egg again. The freezer, the freezer. A little teeny bit. I'm gonna get a little bit of flour. Ah. A little, little regular flour. A little bit of that, just a little flour. And then our little breadcrumbs. Just so we have some texture on the outside. We got these three guys here. Uh -huh. Can y'all see those, bro? There we go, a little bit better. Three, two, 
We're gonna take these guys out. But they're not really set up too well. Because we didn't leave them in long enough. But we're gonna attempt to get a radio show. A little cook on this. Getting a little olive oil, I mean a little vegetable oil on the bottom of the pan. Just so we get a little crispy. It's a little crispy on the outside. We're going to see how these bad boys, yeah, they're definitely still kind of too little wet. So, but they're holding the shape a little bit. They're probably going to fall apart, but let's dust them. And a little flour first. We're going to get them in a little of this vegan egg wash. And then we're going to get them in this red crumb mixture. We'll put them back on the cool pan so they can stay as cold as possible for as long as possible. And the second one here. We just build in texture. See, I didn't add any more flavor or seasonings to the outside. A little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Boom, another one. Set it back down. Trying to work as fast as possible so these guys don't come to room temperature too quickly. So they kind of hold together a bit. And a little here. And last but not least, our last one. Y'all see that little bit of crab meat sticking out? I'm like, that real crab crab? No, not really. Not really. of this just a going here and there we go so that's what we got so now that those guys are ready to go we're gonna get them going we're gonna get them going so come on over here with me y'all so we can see how how this comes through we're gonna see if this is gonna work or not <laughs> Now, I've made this multiple times, but uh, rah, 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 I usually take my time and get it made and let them set up. But tonight, we're going to see what we can do, okay? So let's get you guys up here. Let's tilt you down a little bit so you can see what's happening in the pan. All right. And we're going to just get these bad boys down again. Put them in the grease. Grease needs a little more heat. Look that one. I'm gonna have some delectable vegan um, crab cake. We also have a a tartar sauce recipe up there. I'm not gonna make that tonight. I'm gonna let him fend for itself because it's just four of them. I usually make a little batch of uh, vegan tartar sauce with the vegan mayo, um, a little uh, red onion, a little dill, um, and some other stuff, some relishes and things like that. But the recipe again is on our website if you guys want that. So I'm gonna let this guy get start cooking. Let's see, let's see what we got. Pearl Haslett. He said, check the chicken. Anita is already on the chicken. That wasn't my job anymore. She took me off that. She took me off the chicken, the chicken job, all right? All 
right? guys get down here. I know you like to be in the pan. I know it. I know it. He said the chicken, the chicken is burnt up. Look, I look, I don't know. I need to deal with the chicken. I ain't even actually look at it no more. I'm sure she took it off. Neither you took the chicken off, right? Chick. Okay. Okay. See, she got it, y'all. She got it. She got it. Calm down, y'all. She got it. Okay. Get that. I like what's happening here. They said it look good like that. They ain't even done. It, nope, not yet. Charlie and Mercer, Mercer, what's going on? Jim Mark Walder. Y'all was worried about the a chicken, said G. She said the a chicken. Yeah, air fryer will work great on this too. Air fryer definitely will work great on this. <laughs> what are those, Melissa? These are um, jackfruit crab cakes. So it's a mock crab cake that we made um, from jackfruit, from fresh um, green young jackfruit. We added some vegetables, we added some flavorings in here, and um, we're about to make it do what it do, y'all. We're about to make it do what it do. Let me check my brownies. Is that too hot, baby? Uh, no, I have to turn it down now because it actually was not hot at all. Oh. They was worried about, <coughs> about the chicken, babe. Oh, no, no. They said that chicken is burnt the heck. It ain't burnt. It's the brown sugar from the uh, barbecue. Are these good? I don't Ooh. know what you got in there, baby. Your Brussels sprouts. Oh, yeah. Be careful. Yeah. They're done. Okay, Brussels. Y'all done. Okay. Okay. Brownies, just cook These bad boys are still cooking, and they are pretty much almost done. <coughs> These guys are ready to go. Looking good, looking good. Okay, we got a little, we got a nice roasted and seared. They're a little softer now, okay. Got flavor in there, that's what I want to see. Mm-hmm. Make sure they put this on here because somebody's going to touch this. This came out of and hold on. Put that right there. Because that's somebody going to be me. You know it, right? They're going to end up with no finger fingerprints. Messing around, touching stuff like that. going to end up with no fingerprints whatsoever. Whatsoever? Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Looking good on that side, too. Test if grease is ready to, to fry. Drop one drop of water in the grease so it moves around. The grease is hot for frying. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, good. Tamika sent us 50 stars. Thank you so much. We have 1,100 stars to date. Thank you so far. Uh, yes, Danielle. The texture of jackfruit is a meaty shredded meat texture. <clears throat> we have 10 recipes with jackfruit on cookingwithgreensfamily.com. From... From a chicken soup recipe with jackfruit to um, this, we have a jerk jackfruit um, wraps. Uh, we have a, a barbecue chicken pizza jackfruit. Uh, I'm trying to think of everything we have in there. We have a uh, pulled pork jackfruit recipe. I can't remember all ten, y'all. Okay, I can't remember all ten. But we have, but we have some recipes on there. I promise you. All right, so if you ever actually um, think about maybe doing some jackfruit recipes, 
or having a day where you have a meatless uh, whatever day it is and you just don't want to have all vegetables and you want to give the uh, illusion of having some meat, you can do something like this. You can do something just like this. And again, remember all the stuff, all the ingredients that we put in here could be eaten raw. We're just pretty much heating it up, get a little crust on the outside of these crab cakes. You got a little bit of that, look at that little bit of that crab coming out of there. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? I think we're good there. I think we're good there. I don't really care about the the line. Let me take these out. Turn this off. And then we're gonna be ready to go. Yes, ma'am. You come check my some uh jackfruit crab cakes. You want one? Every time I'm almost done. Uh huh. Show sure is S H O L L is. My mom's ready, y'all. You know, anytime she peeks her head around the corner, it's that time. It is that time. Barbara Ann, how you doing? Good to see you. Cool, cool, cool. you get into this when uh, he makes his plate let me just clean up around here a little bit so you guys can see him plate this up and we can have a little review of it and again the recipe is on our website For the egg substitute. I know somebody gonna say, "How do you make it vegan without the?" That's what we use right there, y'all. This is what we use. Cause this is how we do it. Let's get him a little bit made up. I know he gonna want a little bit of everything, so let's do a little bit of everything. Do I have any marmalade sauce or anything like that? I want to give him a, a little fancy plate. No, this is good. He's just my nephew. Oh, yeah, yeah. La, 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 la. Give him a nice one there. Let me see if I got any tartar sauce. I, want, I feel bad that I'm making it. What do you do? Let me see if I got any in here already. Yeah, do you want to make some tartar sauce? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. A little bit right here. A little bit right here. All right. A little target sauce. Let's get a little bit of uh, some sriracha. Give him a little chicken chip. Just a little bit. here with these peppers and onions uh -huh. there we go. 
potatoes. Lowly shrooms. Little bit of this vegan cornbread. Didn't need to make. Let's see how we're gonna cut this, Derek. Uh, let's cut it. Oh man. And I believe this vegan cornbread recipe is also on the website. I could be wrong. If not, let us know. We'll got we got you guys covered. I'll get needed. Let me know what she put in here and, we'll, and I'll type it out tonight. But I know her regular cornbread. I think it's the same as her regular cornbread. All she did was just take um, and use the vegan, the vegan just egg in place of, a place of the, uh, the regular egg. I think that's the only difference. I should actually give him, I should give him two of them. He's probably going to eat two. No, I want one. One is fine for now. That's good. All right. So I think we are actually good. Oh, I forgot the Brussels, y'all. Why don't y'all tell me? Y'all over here is supposed to be telling me when I forget something. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to get some of these Brussels out. Some of these ham Brussels. He's not gonna have any. Uh, he's not gonna have any chicken, cause he's vegan. There you go. And boom. Got him a nice little vegan plate there. We got the crab cake. We got the vegan cornbread. We got the roasted potatoes and peppers. We got the maple bacon, Brussels sprouts. And I don't know what Nita did with those sh shiitake mushrooms, but she seasoned them up and cooked them. Hey, Tony. Yeah. Come on, get some, bro. All right. Come on, get some, bro. Come on, get some. Yeah. They're waiting to see what uh everything what it tastes is. like. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a fork, a plastic fork? No, we got a real fork, bro. We, we hold adults in here. He said, do we have a press? I don't even know what to start. Everything looks so good. How about how about break into the uh crab right cake? They you know they that's what they want to see. They want to see the crab cake. Okay. Oh what what? Are you sure there ain't no real crab cake boy? Mm -hmm. You sure? That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's hot though. It's That's hot. good. It's hot. That's good. Hey, fat man, come here. <laughs> look what daddy got. What's hot? Look, look, look. Eat. Hey, y'all, everything is done if hey, you guys uh, want to come on and get on this. Let me see come what on, the chicken look like. If the chicken got real African American eyes. What's up, this? Not Let's see if you like it, y'all. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me see what the chicken's talking about. Okay, well, chicken, all right. I guess it came out all right. I'm a couple pieces more African American than other ones, but it's all right. We all the same inside. It smell good, I can tell you that much. We all the same inside. Uh, you like it? Kid approved. Kid approved. <laughs> Kid approved, huh? Mm -hmm. Kid approved, snotty. <laughs> That's good. You all right? I see you climbing up, right? What do you say? Oh, you climbing she's up? climbing up. Means, he wants some more. That means it's time to eat. Thank you guys for the 1,300 stars. Yeah. I saw you guys are giving stars. I'm sorry. I miss Camelia and Triana and everyone that's been giving stars. But thank you so much on that, guys. What do you think, man? Say, mm. He's like, I think I need to clean my nose a little bit. Yeah. I think I need to clean my nose. So I think I'm going to have chicken. I think I'm going to let my mom and my um, nephew have that. So 
Um, where I need to go. Um, who knows? She probably in the bedroom. No, she probably oh, outside. Oh, she did? Mm -hmm. So this is, what, this is what we look like in here. This is what we looking like in here. That's what we looking like in there. I know y'all was like, I can see it. Can he come closer? Can he come closer to the camera? That's what we looking like in there. So that's what the flesh inside looks like in there. The whole family like it. The whole family like it. <laughs> he said, look just like his dad. You know, look at his dad. Oh, thank Mom. You. A lot of mom, too. A lot of mom, too. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of mom. A lot of mom. His dad was about a little chunky chunk, too, back mm -hmm. in the day. <laughs> He's a little chunky That's chunk, good, too. Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's awesome. That's good. Mm -hmm. Kid approved, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kid approved. Say kid approved. Oh, I got a little uh, sriracha on there, so be <laughs> yeah. careful. Right, yeah. He had sriracha before. Oh, yeah, he likes sriracha. Yeah. Okay. I, put on my, uh, I put some on my. Okay, all right. They said the chicken looked good. 35 stars. Geneva says she sent us 35 stars. We appreciate you guys so much for that. Um, We're about to get in here and start eating because that's what it's all about. Hokey pokey and all that kind of stuff. But we appreciate you guys so far for being here. Any newbies, thank you so much for being here first time. All of our regular guys, we appreciate y'all. You know we love y'all. We family. You know how we do. So, um... We're going to let you guys go. Um, make sure you like our page. Follow. Um, the recipes are on our yeah. website, so you can always go to our website and get um, any, of the website, any of the recipes that we use. And then if you have any problems with ordering or you have any questions about our products, hit us up. It's just me and Anita doing this. We got you covered. So we love you guys, man. Somebody said, that's how I like my chicken, just like that. <laughs> it's African-American, but it's good. So we love you guys. We'll see you well, again tomorrow. Happy birthday to everyone. Happy birthday. I was supposed to sing happy birthday. Yeah, probably. Okay. What do you want to Tomorrow, okay. So we love y'all. Peace. Take it easy.